21st day of 30 day lead coding challenge and the problem is leftmost column with one so let's un understand the problem first so you're given a binary matrix and the rows are sorted these are the rows that means all the values are either 0 or 1 so sorted means uh, if you have a 1 here that means everything to the right will be 1 and everything to the left of first one will be 0 so if you don't have a 0 here that means there is no zero in this row. Columns are not sorted, only rows are sorted. And then you cannot access the binary matrix directly. So here you have to use two APIs that the lead code problem provides you. And these two APIs are, one is binary matrix dot dimensions. This will give you a vector of or a list of two values, which will denote row and column. So this matrix will be R cross C dimension. So now you know the dimension of the matrix. And then in order to uh, access a value at a given cell, you, you can use the API get XY. Here you provide the uh, coordinates. For example, this is 0, 0, this is 0, 1, this is 1, 1, and so on. This is R minus 1, C minus 1, the last one. And uh, why is there a limit? Because uh, why you have to use the API? Because they have enforced a limit of 1000. That is, if your solution uh, accesses this get API more than 1000 times, then your solution will not be accepted. So you have to keep that in mind so that you don't do a brute force solution. Like you scan uh, all the columns of first row, then next column, then third column and so on. So that way your solution can go up to R cross C if you do a brute force. And most probably you will exhaust this thousand limit. So that is to make that constraint. Now let's see uh, what approach we can follow. Uh, one can be that since these rows are sorted, you can look at the middle column. So you have to return the first column with at least one uh, one in it. So in this case, it's uh, this value. There is no one left to this. So if you look at this column, this is the leftmost column and this is 0, 1, 2. So this should return 2. So this is the first column having any one in it. All the columns in this column, the first one is at uh, index 4. In this column, it's at 3. This is the column where 1 is at index 2. You have to return this value. And if you don't find any 1, that is the matrix is completely 0, then you return minus 1. So this is the problem statement. So uh, you can uh, compare the middle column. If you find a 1 here anywhere, then you know that at least I have a result with this value. So I have to look in the left part. If a similar column exists, then I will decrement my result. So this approach will be similar to doing binary search. And for comparing all the columns, all the values of a column, you need R operation. So this is R and this is C. So you do R operations and then you reduce the number of columns by half. You look in this part. If it's a zero, you know that this column does not have zero. That means none of uh, the columns before it will be zero since the rows are sorted. So you, you would look in the right part. But if you find a zero, you will look in the left part. So your column decreases by half. And next time, uh, again, you will do are comparisons for a given column and after log n steps you will uh, narrow down your uh, search to one column so it's r times log n if you follow this approach you can try this approach although i will take a different approach so the time complexity for this approach will be r times log n so i will take a approach which will take r plus c and maybe this is better in some other scenario when uh, the number of 
C is very large. So let's see this second approach, which will take order R plus C and whichever is maximum. If R is more than C, you can say it's order R. If uh, C is more than R, it will be order C, whichever is greater. And here it should be, should be C. Because after log C steps, the number of columns will be one and not N. So let's see the second approach and we will claim it to be R plus C. So what you do, you initialize two values. So these are rows and these are columns. So you initialize two values, one we will call R and one we will call C. So we will start from here, top, top right corner and we will see if it's one. If it's one, then we have a result. So we can initialize a result with minus one and we make R equal to zero, C equal to calls minus one. Since this is a zero indexed matrix, uh, at max we will go till calls minus one. So we are here. If it's zero, then that means that uh, none of this part of the array will be one because this is sorted. So we eliminate all of this part of the matrix. So we come down. So if this cell is zero, then we don't search in this part. So we will take a direction of down. So we look for a cell below it. If it's one, then I know that I have this at least one solution. This is the C. So result will get updated to C. And there is a one here. So we don't need to look for this columns. So we eliminate this part. Because by looking down, if we find any one, we are not improving our solution. Our job is to find the leftmost column. So in this case, we will go left to see if there is a lesser index column. So we come here. If it's a one again, we again come here. We will again narrow down this part. We will never search below this and below this. And this row is also eliminated. But if it's a zero here, then I know that left of this will be zero. So we will eliminate this and we come down. So we are either coming down or right. So every step we are either uh, decrementing the row, uh, decrementing the column or incrementing the row and narrowing down our search. So the worst case can be R plus C and there can be multiple cases of that. So let's say it's a zero here. So you come down zero, zero, zero and in the last last row you get a one so you have traversed uh, r times and then you look for a smaller one you again find one 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 all the way you find one or last can be zero or one doesn't matter so you traverse r plus c and there can be multiple ways of reaching here so let's say you come down down then you find a one. So you come left, again one left, then you find a zero, so down. So there are multiple ways of reaching from here to here. So in that case, it will be R plus C, but on average, it will be much less than that. So uh, our solution is R plus C. So let's write code for this. So this is the same explanation here. Let's first write in C++. So we can access the dimension, which is a vector. Dimensions.
we initialize the result with minus one or before that let's add a base case if rows equal to zero or columns equal to zero return minus one then we have two variables r equal to zero c equal to calls minus one so we are the, at the top right corner and we will run it till r is less than rows and c is greater than equal to zero so this will be the worst case when it completes the loop and exits due to these conditions but we will return beforehand if we encounter and we are not allowed to access the matrix we will call the api so if uh, binary matrix dot get r comma c equal to one so what we do when we find a one when we find a one we'll go to the left and also we will update the result so here we got a result of it's uh, zero one two three four so our result is four we found a one so we go down uh, we go left sorry we try to find a better solution so we found a zero so we look below come here come here we found a one so we got a better solution we update it to three and again we go left again we found a one a better solution two and we go left we found a zero so we did not find a better solution so we look for a better solution in this column so we go below and we have reached here so that means our loop will end nothing over it will be one because uh, we had came down only when we had reached a zero we had encountered a zero so if we encountered a zero that means nothing to the left will be one so here we will end and so this is the final step from here to here and we will return this value of 2 else if this is 0 if this is 0 then we look below it that is r plus plus and finally return result so let's run this so for this simple case it passes let's copy this bigger example let's add a few more So it works as expected. Let's make it all zeros so that it returns minus one. And it returns minus one as expected. So let's go ahead and submit the solution. And our solution is accepted. So now we will modify it for Java and let's paste the C++ solution it's a list of integers and to get zeroth index we can use get zero oh 
hopefully this should work and it compiles and works for these cases so let's go ahead and submit and our solution is again accepted so finally we will uh, implement that in python Uh, so let me copy it so dimensions then this will be list so we can access using 0 and 1 And this is the same API you can get. Invalid syntax line 15. So this is missing here. And now it works for all the four cases. So let's go ahead and submit. And our solution is again accepted in Python. So I hope you understood this uh, simple solution. And also the code is very simple. 